So you build a Proxmox server out of spare parts. And let's say your, your hard drive that you had laying around was only like a 200 gigabyte hard drive. And you took it, you utilized it, you created a transmission container and a Plex container. And now all of a sudden you're finding out that you don't have enough hard drive space on your Proxmox server. But you've got your desktop here or you've got a free NAS server you created that had whatever 14 terabytes on it maybe your desktop has a 14 terabyte hard drive on it um today i'm going to show you how to mount that hard drive or a directory from your desktop or your free nas server or even Synology into your proxmox container to or into proxmox and it and allow you to uh access those directories on that remote hard drive for your containers use next on lower res diy so i'm going to assume that if you have a free nas system or a synology system you already know how to set the uh permissions up to to uh, utilize the shares on those systems in this video, we're just going to stick to uh, Windows 10 and sharing a directory on it to the Proxmox server. So I've created a directory called temp on my C drive. And the way we want to share that is right click on it, go to properties, sharing, and click on share. Now you're probably already if you're going to have your name down here your username and your password will all be the same because you're the owner of the the system or the uh, operating system. I'm going to make a, or I'm going to add a user. And so you just type the name of the user in, click add, and I want to give them read write permissions. So change that to read write and I'm going to click share. Once that's done, click done close and we just shared that temp directory or we we just set it up to where other computers can see that temp directory and it will ask those other computers will ask for a username and password to um actually access that so our share is set up let's go into proxmox not plex let's go into proxmox first place we're going to want to go is into the shell of the node so your node up here at the top mine's low res click on shell and we're going to want to edit the f staff f stab file so we're going to do a nano forward slash etc forward slash f stab we'll click enter you can see already i have a share already on this machine but we're going to add another one this one's from my free nas server as you can see, it's just the IP address, the name of the data set and share on the uh, FreeNAS server. But let's set this up for the share that we just created. So we're going to post this in. Again, IP address of your desktop, the file or directory that you want to share to this machine. Now, it's going to be in the... Uh, we're going to, to connect it to the mount directory temp file for the Proxmox server. And you have a CIFS, that's the share that you're creating, your username. Here you're going to change this to your actual username that you created in uh, Windows. The low res, and you're going to add the password for that user and we're going to click x and yes we want to save it so the next thing we're going to want to do is create the mount slash temp directory mount is already there so we'll do a cd forward slash mnt let's do an ls and you'll see there's a, a host run and tank tank is the share that i have to my free nas server already so let's create the temp directory and we do that with mk dir and temp if we do an ls now you'll see the temp directory is there so let's cd into that temp directory and we'll do an ls and you'll see there's nothing there right now so we still haven't um, 
uh, initiate it, the mount. And the command, let's do a CD and go back to the main directory. The command to initiate it is mount A. You let that run. Oh, looks like I got an error in my FSTAF file. So let's go see what I did. I think I probably left a space in there that shouldn't be in there. Yep, there it is. Shouldn't be a space in there. So control X. Yes, we want to save it. Let's run that mount again. All right, it looks like it took this time. So let's CD forward slash MNT forward slash temp and do an LS. All of a sudden we have some things in there. We have adventure directory, a crystal disk directory, desktop, I, desktop INI, and, and iperf. Just some junk that I put in that temp directory. If we go back to that temp directory, you'll see there it is. There's the stuff that's in there. So just to show that the, the link is created between the two systems, let's nano and let's create a file in the temp directory and let's just call it uh, test.txt. So we come in here and test the mount connection. Whatever connection spelled wrong, it'll be all right. And we want to save it. Now, if we go back into our Windows directory, there it is. Test.txt. We look at it and look at that. Connection still misspelled. So that's just showing that our, our link is created between the two systems. I just deleted it in the Windows directory. Let's do an LS and it's not there. It's gone. So again, just proof. But we still haven't uh, connected it to one of the containers. So I've created a container called test. Let's start that guy up. And let's go into the mount directory. If we do an LS, there's nothing there. There's nothing in that directory right now at all. So we're gonna need to shut the container down, go back to the shell of the uh, node that we're working in and we are going to want to edit the config file for that container so first thing we're going to do is we're going to cd into this directory right here etc forward slash pve forward slash lxc hit enter and do an ls on it right now and you'll notice there's 100.config 101.config 102 and on what these numbers correspond to is the number of the container. So the 103 config file, if we change anything in the 103 config file, it will affect this container and only that container. So we want to make the mount to the 100 container. So we'll nano into it. And scroll down to the bottom and we're going to add a line to it here and what this is doing it's creating mount point zero it is in the mount directory forward slash temp so this is that's the directory on your prox mox server it is going to mount it to the mount directory in the container hopefully that made sense so let's do a control x we're going to save it and then let's start that container back up. And we're going to CD back into the mount directory, do an LS, and bam. All the same stuff that was in the, the uh, directory on your, on your Windows machine under your temp directory, same stuff is here that is now accessible by this container. So... If you want to do like I've done where I've got a transmission container and I shared a file from my FreeNAS server to it so that when something is downloaded in transmission, it actually saves it on the FreeNAS system behind me. You can do that with your desktop system if you want to save everything on it. Or if you have a Plex server, you'll find out that as you start adding movies to it, those files are pretty large and you run out of out of space pretty quickly. 
So I have created a share between my Plex container and my FreeNAS server because I think I've got, I don't know, 14 terabyte worth of, of videos and movies on that FreeNAS server. And it just runs everything through the FreeNAS server and utilizes the uh, hardware on the Proxmox server to run actual Plex. So until next time, hit that subscribe button, like it if you liked it, and thanks for watching.